we're going to be installing the Bishub uh, C308 driver on a Mac. Now this actually applies to all Konica Minolta business class machines. So what we need to do first is actually download the driver. Now, if you're using Bonjour or AirPrint, you could go out and find the printer. But if your printer has special features such as a booklet maker or anything like that, you really need to use the driver to print. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to kmbs.conicaminolta.us and we're going to click the downloads link at the top. And we're going to click in the quick search and we're going to, for this purpose, select C308. Select BizHub C308. We're going to click drivers. And we're going to scroll down until we find uh, the Mac version. Um, the current Mac version at this time of recording is uh, the Mac OS 1014. We're going to go in and select the newest driver here. Once it's downloaded, we can go into the downloads directory, or in this case, we'll just double click the file here. It's going to pull up this folder. You want to double click that. Go into the OS underscore 10 underscore 9 underscore X folder. And we're going to go into letter. A4 is for um, outside the country. So we're going to go to letter. And we're going to double click this PKG file. We're going to click continue. 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 Agree. And we're going to install. It's going to ask you for your password. And we're going to install software. And sometimes this takes a few moments. Okay. And then once it's done, we click close. Now this did not install the printer. This just installed the software for the printer. So we're going to click this uh, window here to close it. And we can go ahead and close our browser now. Now before we actually install the printer, there's a couple things you need to know. One is the IP address. If you don't have that, you need to go get the IP address off the machine because uh, the Mac is not going to find the IP address for you. Also, you need to know if you have a finisher, the type of finisher, any extra paper trays, and if you have a hole punch. Um, again, the Mac won't sense this, so you have to manually put these accessories in. If you do not know the configuration, um, you can check the machine or you can contact your dealer uh, or vendor and see if you could get a configuration sheet uh, for the machine that will list the peripherals that you'll need to put in the driver. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go down here to the system preferences. And we're going to click printers and scanners. We're going to click the plus sign down here. And we're going to add a printer. Now you'll see that uh, through Bonjour or uh, AirPrint, you'll see some printers listed here. And one of them may even be your printer. But again, remember that you haven't installed drivers, so there may be some features you're not going to be able to select. So we're going to click Add Printer or Scanner. We're going to click the IP icon at the top here. And we're going to type in the IP address for that, that machine we're going to install. Okay. We want to leave the protocol on HP JetBrett socket. Down here at the bottom, this is the name of the printer. You normally don't want it to be the IP address because it's harder to identify. So we'll call this Dispatch C308. Down here at the bottom where it says Use, we have listed here generic PostScript driver. 
we want to actually select the correct software for the machine. So we'll go down to select software. Here at the top of printer software, uh, start typing Konica. And you will see that it'll eventually list the machine here that you're looking for. We're going to select C308, click OK, and then we're going to click Add. Here's where you'll, you'll enter the accessories. So if you have uh, an extra paper tray, if you have a deck, if you have an LCT or something off to the side, here's where you'll list the paper source information. You have some uh, uh, finishers here. You have an internal finisher. You have an external finisher. You have a, a job separator. This one here is with the booklet maker. So make sure you select the correct uh, finisher and of course the punch unit. For this particular machine we don't have any extra accessories so we're just going to click OK. And the printer's installed. If we double click the printer it'll pull up the queue here. If we go up to the top and we go to printer we can print a test page. And it looks like I printed. Now, if you are using account codes or if you, there are particular defaults you want to set for the printer, in another video, we'll be uh, setting up the machine with something called cups uh, that will give you a little bit more granular or detailed uh, settings. Otherwise, the defaults can be set up through presets and, and um, uh, other methods um, here within the applications. If you have any questions, uh, shoot us an email or comment below, and uh, we'll see you next time.